Hello, this tutorial will show you how to animate a double door and what to do to export it and have it functional in Fallout 4. Let's start with setting up the scene. I've already created a door. It's a very simple double door. There's a wooden piece here, another wooden piece here. They both open towards the viewer. There's also two wooden supports on each side, which will constitute our animation route and export route as well. First, let's summon a scene explorer from Tools, New Scene Explorer. This will make uh, establishing hierarchies and everything else much more easy. Let's open that. Move it somewhere where it's not in the way. Now, you'll want to name everything in your scene correctly, so when you animate and set up uh, groups and everything, you know what is what. I already went on and did, did that. Each metal part is named after the side it's on. You have the static part, which is just the root of the mesh. You have the collisions for it. This and this. You have the collisions for each door that opens and animates. And then the actual doors. Let's make sure that material is assigned. Good. Now you want to set up your um, pivots for each door. If a pivot for an animated part is not correctly set up, it will transform incorrectly, obviously. To do so, you will select each door, press Alt Q to isolate them, go into your pivot, into your hierarchy, piv effect pivot only, and you want to move the pivot on the edge of this door, exactly where the hinges would be. I already know that the door ends at 104 units on this side. You want to do the same for the other door, which is at the opposite end, 104. Exit pivot mode. And now just test quickly. It rotates correctly. Good. Next step is to select both of them. Go into Tools, Reset X Form and reset selected. Right click, transform to poly and that will collapse any modifiers pres present on your shapes. Okay, good. You set up, uh, due to the fact that both doors rotate uh, and carry with them both the collision and the metal part, you do not have to do the same uh, setup for your other parts, but if you have parts on the door that move on a different trajectory or not on a different trajectory but that will have their own movement on top of the door movement you would want to set up their pivots as well so the animation plays correctly let's exit this mode good I've already set up collisions and everything just have to link them together how you link collisions to everything well we go into the scene explorer and now let's set up each door door on the left select door left select metal part and select collision for set door. Press Alt Q in the main window to isolate everything. And now you want to select the metal, the collision, drag by the white button on top of the door. And you have set up the first hierarchy for the door on the left. Everything set up correctly. All items follow the door. All left to do now is to select both of them going to reset X form to reset the X form of the collision collapse everything now going to havoc tools physics create a rigid body of proxy now give it a weight of 100 or at least 60 I prefer 100 just because it's the round number and you have to make sure that the quality type for it is keyframed good select your door collision and since the door collision is just a rectangle, we can do this. Change it to box. Go into collision group. If you do not have this, and chances are that you do not have this set up, you will find collision group in more. You'll scroll down in somewhere here. Good. Collision group, select material, and select type. You want to select an M static, since this is a static door, but it is animated apply selected exit isolation mode select right left the right door the right door collision and the metal part I 
isolate. Set up hierarchy. Select reset X form. Collapse everything. Havoc physics. Give it a weight of 100. Again, make sure that the quality type is moving and not moving keyframe. Select this collision. Again, this is just a box, so we can do that. Collision group. And done. Last bit left is to set up the collision for the static part and the final hierarchies. Select the two static collisions, link them here. Now select everything. You can either do that in the scene or you can do it in the scene explorer. You want to reset X form for this as well. You will want to reset X form for everything that's not centered and should have its uh, transforms reset. Create rigid body. Hundred. In this case, since the two pillars will not move, you do not want to make. You do not want to change the quality time. Collision. Select the two collisions, and static. And the last bit is to select each door from the scene explorer, drag, drop. Let's make sure that everything works. Rotates. Rotates. Let's just move this sideways. As you can see, everything is linked. Good. Collisions are set up. Everything. The arrow key is set up. All is left is just to animate the door and set up the export script. We will select just the visible doors, Alt Q to isolate each of them. And now to animate you can either use Auto Key or Set Key. I prefer Set Key, it's more control over what happens as Auto Key registers everything a move any transform any material change anything that can be recorded will be recorded by auto key go let's go into set key by pressing this select both doors make sure this is a zero press set key now select the left door and in order for the script the animation script to function correctly you need to let one frame between any animation stages whether there's two four or twenty since we are working with doors there's only two animation stages open and close so I prefer to set the animation over the course of uh, 100 frames which is around 1.6 seconds and split it in half 0 to 49 first half and 51 to 100 the second half okay at 49 frames we will rotate press E for rotation by minus 85 degrees let's copy this set key you want to move to 51 skip the one frame for the script you can also just go to 50 it'll work the same I prefer to let to leave one frame just for a better separation set key again move to zero right click into the transform on top of the arrow to reset to zero set set key let's proceed the same for the other door already has a key at zero go to 49 rotate by 85 degrees set key move to 51 set key move to 100 reset set key exit keyframe mode and play your animation this is real time animation, this is how it will play in game. Obviously if you want it faster or slower you can just change those. Animation is set up, exit in isolation, select your route and the final step is to set up the script. The script you want to choose is Game Review Animation. Select that script isolate your root add now let's set up sequences the first sequence is open of course make sure it's not looped unless you need it to be looped make sure the times are correct 0 to 49 sequence tags add a new morph tag and call it open 
add a new sequence as you can see it always checks loop you want to uncheck that correct times are 51 to 100 and let's name this close add morph tag close good everything is set up exit isolation let's move this back to zero make sure that your root is selected time to export it select root export export selected you'll want to select either this or this if you're making plans and they're animated or anything else that requires to be animated and have a fade node you'll go for this otherwise you'll go for this in other cases where you have a simple one item animation such as a windmill you'll go for PE static you can set up the same the same script with only one stage a loop but you'll go for PE static or if you have a flag or something like that not exactly sure why so but this seems to be the Bethesda model so I'm just gonna go for it okay no errors as everything is correctly set up now you will want you'll want to open Elric convert files and find your door go into the folder open the file and now is it's the time to check if everything's correct, textures are applied correctly, shapes look okay. Make sure that the flags are correct, 14 here. BSX flags are not correct, they should have a this. If you have a looping animation, this should be 72 or cycle. Cancel. Anything else that needs to be nailed or reset should be done now. Control S to save. Control X, Control V. For convenience, I went ahead and added this door already to to my list. It's here. It's ready to be used. In let's go. Start fallout. You won't always have another part of the mesh as your dummy or root. If you only have one shape and that's the only thing that animates in your scene you will want to set up a dummy of any sort it can be just a primitive or whatever else and you will want to link everything in your scene to that dummy and that's what you will apply your script to and that's what you will select to export this is how this engine works unfortunately If you forgot to uncheck uh, loop in the close sequence, it would continuously loop close and you'll be rather broken. Okay, this has been the tutorial for animating a door, in this case a double door, it can also be applied to a simple door. And the hierarchy rules and the export rules are the same for almost anything animated, like mechanisms, door, anything of mechanical nature. For skeletons and other things, you will need to learn more. I will need to learn.